Yo, my people, welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be bringing you um, a new part to the journey. So as you can see in the last video that I put out, we made it to the conference final, but it didn't end in the way that we wanted it to. Our road to the AIA finals is kind of in a cloudy spot right now, but we might still be able to make it into a tournament, hopefully. However, now that we are finished with the conference tournament, we are able to play in the NCCAA national tournament. So the NCCAA is a national Trish Christians um, tournament. It's for like Christian schools that um, come together basically. It's like the NCAA, but just for Christian schools, I guess. So because of this, I received very good news. Um, I actually found this out during, which game was it? Uh, I think it was the, it was right before conference tournament started. So right before we played Mount Vernon in the quarterfinals, I actually found this out. Um, my season is back on. I will be able to play in the national tournament. Um, for Christian Nationals. It's a very good thing because I thought my season was done, but no, the boys managed to win. The, um, they managed to win a certain amount of games, so we were able to be sent to Christian Nationals and compete there. So yeah, I'm really excited because now I get something to play for. But now we're able to fight for the NAIA National Tournament and the NCCAA National Tournament. One hour later. Five hours later. What's going on people? So today I'm going to be doing a voiceover for you guys. Breakfast! So get your plate, get your fork, get your spoon! So as my good friend Keegan said, it was time for breakfast. I got here on Sunday evening, it is now Monday morning. We were staying at a big resort in Florida at this time. They were able to hold all the men's teams and the women's teams that were competing at Christian Nationals this year. It was just a really nice hotel, a nice environment to be in. We had two guys to a room, so me and Keegan shared a room, um, and then we're heading down to meet the rest of the boys just for breakfast, and then we're gonna head straight off to training. Yeah. Get a perm. <laughs> Yeah, so we arrived at the place we we're gonna train. As you can see, it's, uh, it's called Austin Tyndall Sports Complex. We only trained here once, which was today, um, during the week. All the group games were played here, and then they also had a stadium, which the semifinals and the finals were played at. It is honestly one of the best surfaces that I've probably ever played on. It's just a really nice facility. Two hours later. We arrived back at the hotel and now it was time for me to get some work done. 
more or less our team and probably everyone else that was still in the hotel the other teams had homework to do because it was finals week so yeah this is just me just hitting the books um until it was time for our game a few moments later so after homework and a long needed nap it was time for us to get ready and to play our first game of um, christian nationals we were playing Central Christian College of Kansas in our first game and I believe kickoff was around about five o'clock It was also my first game after two weeks of quarantining because of contact tracing So I was buzzing to be back good to be back playing with the boys here That's probably day This three pool setup ball in the middle looking for Bruckman. Now it's down the left for Grace. Ball into the middle and headed over. All familiar faces. Hey, get back to Kyle! Oh, another heavy touch by Allen. The shot by Schrader is stopped. First shot on Tarzan has an option short. He decides to send it deep. Excellent header, saved. Deep, but Drew Schrader giving chase. Schrader able to latch onto it. Here's the first attacking opportunity for the Tigers in a while. Nunez over the top, just too deep for Schrader. And there is Joe Bowles. On the other end, here's Brenneman. Brenneman with a chance, chips the goalkeeper. There it is. Miranda has his effort in the middle blocked. And now the long boot once again for Drew Schrader. Schrader on the ball, feeds it through. Here's a chance. It's 1-1. It took less than two minutes for controlling the pace of the game. Jay Perm steals it away. Here's White. White with a good pass up for Mora. Mora giving or getting a chased by a defender. He sends it up for Miranda or uh, Goncalves. Goncalves, left footed delivery. It's an own goal. What an error at the back. Perm. Jay Perm through the center. Here's a shot off the post by Miranda, and it's put in. It's put in to make it 3-1. All crammed here into one week, one exciting week here at the sports complex. But we've got Division I action right now. The, the two-seed Grace and the eight-seed Central Christian. It's 4-1. Two days later. So it is now Wednesday, the boys are feeling refreshed after a good first week. Today is another game day, so we just got together after breakfast just for a team walk, just so we can get our legs moving before our game tonight. Catch what? Do you trip up? No, no, no. You didn't trip up? Yes, I did. Uh, Why you always lying? If you was wearing your shirt backward, I would have said something a long time ago. And here we go. What the hell was that? Hey, what's up, blah, 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 blah. Yes, everyone. So we would like to thank Keegan Shifflett for today's video entertainment with I don't know what was going on in that um, little section there, but 
that's Keegan Fiel and that was my roommate. <laughs> so today we are playing Carolina University. This is our second game and it is our last group game before the semi-finals. We need to win this game in order to top the group and have like a good season in the semi-finals. Carolina University are also playing for the best second place team because you need um, an extra team in order to fill out the semi-finals. Stop it. Get some help. In the shot, you know. As Grace Christian will turn things over as we are underway. Plenty of playmakers on their side as well. Play back here. Oh, good pressure. As they have all night so far. Mija, shot, score, and Carolina. We'll field another one. Wants to send the one in the middle. Trying to handle top of the box, still loose. Chance not gone yet for the Lancers. A strike blocked aside, still at the top of the box. Turns and scores! Off the deflection, and not two minutes after they trailed for the first time, they find the equalizer. Again, Gomez wanting to apply the heat. He got a foot on it. And he's got more than that. Chance developing here from distance had to be blocked aside by Bowles. Streaming out far side. Dancing, looking for room. Turns another one in. A good ball still batting around at the top of the box. Lancer's got a foot to it. That one blocked aside. Another strike. Far post nearly missed. Following their way. Here in pool B yet to be decided. C. Also being contested is Campbellsville and Erskine. A new battle to see who will win that pool. And a strike. Look to send it in. Again chipped in by the Bruins. One and off sides. Now on the counter. Lancers want to run with it. Nearly forgot the ball, now they have it. Chance developing here. He's Jake loose, it's two on one. The finish, a good one. And capitalizes on the counter. It's 3-1. Quinn sort of drifting toward a goal from where he's at. Back post, ball, he got a foot on it. Cleared out at the last moment. I believe it was Vaughn who cleared it out of the way. Oh, good ball here. Chance brewing. Oh, they played the short corner. Now looking to charge in. Opposite post, header. The rebound is good. And we are just about to get underway. What a finish!